Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the was input key just pressed or released nodes. Let's run through a quick little example, which is really a quick little example. I will press one of the keys and it will say it was just pressed. And when I let go, it'll tell me it was just released. It is really that simple. Let's go ahead and look at the nodes themselves. The nodes are simple and basic. They're basically going to target a player controller, so we know which controller we want to check the input on, and it's going to check a key. If we unhook the nodes, we're going to find they come out like this. There's one for the input key just pressed, and one for the input key just released. Same settings, input of a controller, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my player controller, input of a key, you can either select the key here or you can use a key variable input. In this case I have H set up so I don't have to set it in more than one spot. And your output is going to be a boolean, true or false. Now what it does if we read the notes here is it returns true if the given key or button was up the last frame and down this frame. Basically, did we just press this during this frame? Was it up the last frame and down this frame? And it's the opposite for this one. Was it down the last frame? Well, now is it up this frame? If so, we just released it. And that is how we get the results that we see. And all I'm doing here is printing out just pressed or just released and then making it disappear after half a second. And that's it. It's a really simple node. I'll push my button. We see that it says just pressed. I'll go ahead and let go. We'll see that it's just released. And it doesn't have to wait. We can do button up, down, up, down. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is there is at least a frame difference between the key going down or up and then the key going up or down, the opposite of what just happened. And that's it. Uses for this are if you want to track input without maybe checking on a tick, you just simply want to see was this key recently pressed, and then you can do an action based on that. Now something to note. Because this goes through the player controller, we have to make sure that the input is being given to the player controller. If you have your setup, in this case, for example, I'm setting up where I have game and UI, but let's say we change this to UI only. Let's hook this up. And we'll run it with UI only input. Oops, that would help if I actually selected it. So input key just pressed. We'll go ahead and hit play and I'll push my keys, nothing's going to happen. UMG or UI input is not the same as the player or game input. The player controller takes the input when it's set to game mode and the UI mode will skip player input. So that's something to keep in mind. You would have to do something different or use a different node to check it was down. This targets the player controller so it needs to make sure the input goes through the player controller. And that's it. Those are our was input key just pressed and was input key just released nodes.